This episode of Capes and Lunatics is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. Get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Mm -hmm. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. Hello and welcome! Once again, it's been another month to the Nightwing News. I am Mark Lee. I know. <laughs> I am Phil, and joining me as always is Kristen. Hello. And I know last time we said we'd do an animated series episode, but I figured this month with uh, the new issue, Nightwing Fifty Eight Plus, we covered Batman Court the Batman Court of Owls novel. That would be quite enough. Yeah. Especially the novel, yes. I was pleasantly surprised because I thought these latest like Batman novels were all just like um, novelizations of like comic arcs. So I thought this was gonna be like the Scott Snyder yeah, storyline. Yeah, I was surprised. I was surprised too. I was pleasantly surprised that it was an original story that takes place after that Snyder stuff. Yeah, definitely. Right. Okay, we'll get to that. I was gonna say, should we do the uh, comic book first? Yeah, sure. Since it's a little bit shorter. <laughs> yeah. Nightwing, Nightwing 58 by uh, So I I liked it. I thought it was I thought it was good. Yeah, it was good. Besides my the, main mm -hmm. No, I was gonna say just my my main thing is just you know, I'm still waiting for Dick to get his memory back. But besides that, no, I I I enjoyed the issue. Yeah, I think the main thing that I don't know if I was disappointed or maybe surprised that it seems like Joker's daughter is going to, I mean, she got away, but it seems like she's not, I guess I'm not sure if she's going to be in the next, uh, in the next issue because it kind of ended with Barbara and then they say old flames, um, which I don't know. I, if she's not in the next one, I, I'm kind of surprised because it felt like they were going to do more with her and then it was just kind of, then she didn't. Her plan didn't work out, and she got a well. I guess it kind of worked out because she got away, and then that was she that didn't was get the end. She didn't get away. It's like they set it up that she doesn't have to come back for. Well, yeah, they several knocked, Well, yeah, they knocked her out. Right, and that kind of surprised me because I was thinking this was going to be a little bit longer arc. Yeah, it probably should have been a longer arc with with um. Joker's daughter, it's like characters like that's kind of tricky because it's like you know she. I don't think she's uh. She can't hand to hand out fight. Well, I was gonna say Dick, but probably any of these cops either. Yeah, I mean she's not that well established of a character. Maybe mm -hmm. they don't think that she's gripping people. But I was really interested. I thought that her whole deal with you know when you are threatening wealthy people, people are paying attention and they'll listen to you, but not when you're threatening homeless people. That's a really fascinating topic. And I was, because I mean, honestly, I don't really care one way or the other about Joker's daughter. I mean, she's fine, but she's not that, she's not that exciting and she's not that, like I said, she's not that well developed of a character. So I don't have particularly strong feelings about her, but I did have kind of strong feelings about her issue. And I mm -hmm. thought that was really interesting. And I thought you could really, you know, given that the situation with the homeless was kind of starting Rick back on his, oh, I want to help people thing. And of course, he's practically homeless now because I don't think he, ha well, I mean, I don't think he has a home. I think he just, I don't know, sleeps in the cab, cab couch surfs, whatever. I don't know. That's, I guess that's something I'm kind of interested in. And I would have, I would have been excited to see more with that, but. Yeah, I don't know if they're whole downplaying that whole him, you know, you know, just like breaking in the houses and sleep because I don't know. I think that's one of the more, more negative things people, re you know, people react to negatively. So yes, yeah, I mean, I totally understand them not continuing on with him doing that, mm -hmm. but I don't think he has an apartment. I mean, we haven't seen him have an apartment. I don't think. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Yeah. I'm surprised he's not living with the new girlfriend or anything. Although they're playing that kind of slow, but though, so. Oh yeah, him with B. The yeah. Bartender, sure. Be, sure. be the bartender. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I should remember. Be the bartender. Start to be. Be bartender. <laughs> Beatrice the bartender. Also, I 
I took a I took a picture of it to remind me. But when he was talking with Joker's daughter, and he said, "When I look at my father, I see a stranger," that made me both happy and sad. Happy because he's talking. To, he must be talking about Bruce because think, he's yeah. not looking at John Grayson because he's super dead. Um, so I was like, "Oh, that's his dad." But then it was sad because he was like, "He's a stranger, and that's okay." <laughs> And I was like, oh, sad. Yeah, because also didn't he say that he remembers, like, his childhood? It's just like they'll, you know, basically as time is Robin and Nightwing, he forgot. Yeah. yeah. So I always like it every time they acknowledge that he and Bruce have this family relationship because that's my jam. Mm -hmm. But it was sad. Although, I mean, he did have a point. You know, you do have to grow up and move out on your own and stuff. But generally, you don't want it to be because oh hey dad I don't even remember who you are <laughs> it's kind of an extreme version <laughs> and it's just like I don't know at least that one caught at least the like the main night nightwing you know the guy like in charge of the the night wings it's like he basically sees dick without his a mask or grease paint so it's like I don't know I mean I know he's no Bruce Wayne but amnesia is not a mask <laughs> Oh, right, yeah. 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 I do still like, though, how they used all the different costumes. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Oh, heck yeah. That's really fun. Although, uh, it's kind of hard to imagine that in the hot minute that Dick has been in Bloodhaven, he actually managed to get all of his old costumes into fireproof tubes into that little underground bunker, but whatever, it's okay. <laughs> I'll give him that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, anytime there's a new creative team, they always take, like, liberties, but, you know. Oh, right, yeah, because, I mean, you know, well, it's obvious that now that we've been into... Oh, 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 stop, stop, sorry. No, a cat. <laughs> the cat, the scene, everything's okay? Okay, yeah. sorry, the cat yeah. stepped on the, uh, she stepped on the keyboard, and oh, the computer started freaking out. Um, well, I think now that it's, um, rebirth, Mm -hmm. I feel like they've kind of disregarded that weird five-year timeline that they came out with a couple of years ago. Because in five years, I mean, if you had all those different suits, how would people even be able to remember who the heck Nightwing was? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They'd always be looking different. Yeah, that's another thing. They're like, yeah, yeah don't worry about that five years. It's been <laughs> right, which, you know, makes, makes sense. Which I always thought, yeah, why do you even bother to try to make the timeline make sense? Because... There's no way it's going to. Time moves however they want it to in comic um, books. Now they're trying to explain it's that. Like, they're trying I've to read, I've, read a, I've read a year's worth of comics in real time, and it's been a week or something, and then they'll randomly decide between, you know, January and February, oh, we're having a skip, it's one year later. You're like, oh, okay. Well, they're trying to explain that now. Doomsday Clock, if that ever comes out on time, basically Dr. Manhattan, like, stole time, you know, stole chunks of time. I don't know. Yeah, I figured just don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> Adopt Doctor Who, timey wimey. It's all like, eh, you know, time yeah. is passing. They, I think now they know that was a mistake, but they they'll never admit it. Yeah, it's like when Dick went to college. He went to college in 1969, and he dropped out of college after a semester in 1980. That's the longest semester in the world. Mm hmm. And that is so long. <laughs> yeah, well, back then, you know, it was. I don't know, comic book aging is really hard. I mean, he was also 10 years old for, like, 30 years, so, you know. Yeah, and then then, and, and then after a while, it seemed like he was only, like, he aged, but Bruce didn't really that much. Yeah, he aged so, it was like he would age in, it's like when you talk about um, evolution, it's not just, like, this line, it's punctuated equilibrium. <laughs> Something happens, and then you're flat. Something happens, it was like. Dick's eight, yeah, and then he's twelve, uh, and he's sixteen, uh, and now he's going to college. <laughs> well, Bruce Wayne has his Lazarus pit, his Lazarus pit, so yeah, he must, or he has like Lazarus pit body wash. No, oh, the shower, so that way he doesn't get the mental problems, but you know, physically mm -hmm. he's still good. Uh, but and yeah, honestly, think, and honestly, I think Alfred must take some of that too because oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he's yeah. done so much, and yet. You know, he aged to white hair, and then he's remained the same. He's also in a punctuated equilibrium. But yeah, he stays the same until, like, Batman Beyond, then he's just, like, gone. Yep. 
But yeah, I mean, yeah. I, thought th- I thought this whole Joker's daughter thing was going to last longer, unless they're rushing to like bring Dick fully back. But I mean, I haven't seen any signs of that yet. So yeah. So I'm just worried. I'm like, they're not gonna like make us wait to like 75 or something, are they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Because and I don't know, cause okay, so the Titans book is supposed to be its last issue is supposed to be 36, right? Something like that. And I, yeah. And I think we just came to 34 or 35. Something like that. Yeah, he probably won't be back just for the end it. of that. Let me grab. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thirty-five. Thirty-five is what came out this month. So that one's almost almost done. So I don't know. It it feels like they they would restart the Titans book at some point since they have the oh, TV show. I'm, I'm sure not that. sure when the TV show is coming back. So I don't know if that will give us a countdown to when Maybe Rick not. is gonna. Yeah, unless unless they just wait till we, when he's fully back to restart that book. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, but it would seem to me that if you want to restart the Titans because the tie into the TV show, you should try to have the people who are in the TV show Mm -hmm. in it. Although Starfire wasn't in this version of Titans. No, no, no. I I mean, unless they're waiting for season two also of Titans to, you know, and get Dick back and... Right, and he's in Young Justice, which Starfire is also not in Young Justice, so I don't know if they're trying to go with, like, Young Justice anyway. I thought I heard eventually I thought she was supposed to come in there, so I don't know if she's coming oh, in. That she might come in? Maybe, yeah. But I'm just sad, like, Dick's not going to be fully Dick for Detective Comics 1000. Yeah. Which comes out Wednesday. But that'll be cool. Unless they do, like, a flashback or something. Mm. Yeah, but I thought it was supposed to be in it. I well, thought I read it. Well, if it's like action comics, one thousand, it'll probably be a bunch of short stories that basically take place any time in history. So, oh yeah, then they'll probably have kind of a yeah, classic, a classics one. I mean, I think that since Dick was Robin for so long, mm-hmm. I think that I mean, you more often see writers go back and do a Batman Robin story when Dick is Robin than with any of the other Robins. Oh, yeah, because there's so much more backstory and time with Dick than anyone else. there's so much more backstory. And and because you get the whole, like, this is my first partner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. Plus, I think when people want to write a story that's a little bit cute, (laughs) Mm -hmm. um, that feels like the natural point to go back to. (laughs) Yeah, and it's just, I mean, Dick's, uh, I mean, he was the circus acrobat. I mean, they kind of tried to do that with Jason at first, but then, I mean, he was basically just a street kid. So, I mean, Dick has the more most colorful origin also. Right, right. And I just think that because he was a Robin so long and because of the 60s TV show, uh, oh, and even then in a lot of other media, he's been the Robin. He's just more famous. Oh uh, yeah, because he had decades than the other ones. Than to a ca- to a casual reader. Mm-hmm. And then we got the we got Barb Barbara at the end of this book. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I was just like, oh no, this isn't her like saying goodbye for a while, is it? <laughs> which it probably is. Sorry, it isn't her what. I was like, I hope it wasn't her like saying goodbye to him for you know we're not going to see her with him you know talked him at all for a while. I know, I don't know, but then the other one's called Old Flames. It said the mm. next issue is, which, you know, makes you believe, but maybe it just means a fire-themed villain is popping up. Maybe Firefly is coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I thought I looked at it, but I can even look up the next issue. That way it gives us the, no. the date of when it comes out also. Fair enough. Sounds good. Um, on sale April seventeenth. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I swear this looks like the. Uh, it doesn't really say anything. It just it basically said there's a new team in town. You know the Night Wings and. Yeah, is it just kind of generic? Yeah, it's ba- I think it's basically the same summary as like what we got for this issue. So. Oh yeah, the like he has amnesia, but he's working with the Night Wings. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. The only thing I see well, is like, 
something still going on with, how do you think you say that? Detective Sabovda? Sabavda? Sub, you know, the kind of cranky woman detective? Yeah, she was, yeah, she was on there, yeah, right before Dick lost his memory. Like, he was working with her for a little bit. Right, and she was there when the body that the scarecrow puffed up with stuff exploded, and oh yeah, she was in the in the more. I mean, she was in this most recent issue, so I feel like there's something that she's trying to track down that's going to be coming up. Uh, oh, I looked for I looked at uh, May's issue, uh, issue sixty, and it's saying mm-hmm. something about fires, uh, tart, you know, raging through Bloodhaven almost with a mind of their own. Okay, so six next is fifty nine and then sixty, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's May. Okay. Uh, how will Rick and the oh. Nightwing save save the city's finest from a red hot vendetta and the city's newest villain burn back? Mm. Okay then. Yeah, so new villain. Well interesting. I don't know. I'm trying to give this like a fair shake, but it almost seems like they're spinning their wheels sometimes. Mm-hmm. With this with this Rick stuff. I don't know. Sure. Well, it'll be interesting if it's Old Flame, if this Burnback is supposed to be someone that he's encountered before, but he's not going to remember. Yeah, that would be interesting, but, you know, uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, oh, because there is, I Anything guess, the, else? the latest oh, solicit. Yeah. There is one for June for 61. Uh, look, I think it's still going to be Burnback, maybe. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, he's it's still talking about Rick and burn back and everything in June's issue sixty one. So yeah, looks like at least a three issue arc there. So only time will tell. Well, fair enough. I'm so I'm scared. I'm interested to see who this burn back character is. Yeah, I'm just scared we're gonna get we're just gonna have Rick until issue seventy five at least. I don't know. I don't know. It's too long. <laughs> well, hey, at least I'm sure we won't have Rick to like issue a thousand. So there you go. No, yeah, no, good. <laughs> but um, <laughs> should we get to the novel? Yeah, let's do it. Batman, yeah. the Court of Owls, the novel. Which all we right? Just, which we were just talking offline. We were both pleasantly surprised because I thought this was just going to be a novelization of uh, the Scott Snyder. Uh, New Fifty Two uh, storyline, but yeah. it wasn't. It actually mentioned like that in the Night of the Owls. It's a, it's an original uh, storyline by Greg Cox, who yes, I did. Yeah, when they said an original novel, they weren't kidding. Yeah, because I, I did email Greg Cox to see if he would like to join us. I really didn't give him much notice, but because he did say he had family in town, but he's like maybe another time. So, keep oh, your eyes for real? wait, you know, you have his email, Greg. Well, I. Did you see in the back where it said like his website? I went to the website. There were his email was on there. Oh yeah, so, I did. Yeah. Oh yeah, he does. Oh snap, he lives in Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Oh Lancaster, yeah, they have a really good outlet mall there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, so, yeah, so I emailed him. He said maybe another time. So keep your eye on the podcast. Maybe eventually we'll get him on to talk this and uh. Yeah. See, see what else he's see what else he's writing. Yeah, I liked it. I will say I think that we should. I was a little disappointed that there wasn't a huge amount of Dick Grayson in it. Yeah, yeah. Like the world was kind of was kind of small. Uh, that being said, I thought that he um, Gray Cox did a good job in that rather small role, doing a good job of capturing um, who Dick is. The part where. I don't know. Should I say he helps a fam like some people after they're getting mugged and then he picks their groceries up. I thought. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, very, that's very perfect. That's a very um, that was a very good Nightwing thing, and that really sort of nicely encapsulated it. And at first, I was a little like uh, concerning how um, his fight with the Talon went. I um, mean, it didn't go as well for him as uh-uh. Bruce's fight with Talon. But after I was like. Uh, um, and pause to think about it. I realized, but that also makes sense because they were fighting for a completely different reason. Um, and if Dick's fight had just been, oh, I need, I just want to get away from you, it would have been a very quick fight. But since he was fighting the Talon for a different reason, um, it did make sense in the end that because Bruce up to that point had never been in that in a in a fight like that with the Talon. Yeah, I and I just I don't know. It, 
I mean, we'll get a little spoiler here. I'm not trying to spoil too much, but I just think, I don't know, the way the fight went for Dick, it was just like a, a reason to t get him out of the story for the most part. Because they, I guess they wanted to focus on Bruce, and then we got Barbara more because, you know, she was doing a lot of computer work for Bruce, and then she was there for the big fight mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah, yeah, so Barbara has a bigger role yeah. um, than, than, Dick than, does, yeah. uh, than Dick does, but but she's not really very developed. I mean, not that you really need to develop these characters, because yeah. everybody, knows, everybody knows who they are, but she is more the sounding board. Yeah, um, and a lot of tech so, support through most of the book. Yeah, she's like a sounding board character Yeah, um, for Bruce, really. But he does, you do see... I mean, obviously it would have been awesome if Dick were in it more, but even in the short th thing, he captures Dick's helpfulness, personality well, and he also captures how much he means to uh, Batman well, because as soon as Batman hears, like, the talent is headed to where Dick is, he's like, ah! I mean, yeah. What? And I mean, it's a novel, so it doesn't really matter, but it, it helps you, like, pin down when the story takes place, but when Dick first shows up, I think it's like page 50 or so, you know, around page 50, like, Dick first shows up, and they're, mm -hmm. and you're just like, oh, yeah, and then he's, like, describing the suit, it's like, yeah, and the red stripes, and I was just like, oh. Right, yeah, he didn't mention it. I was like, oh, right, he was still in red when we had that. Wah, wah. <laughs> I was like, I'm glad it tells you when it takes place, but I was just like, oh, the red. You were like, oh. Don't remind me of that. But no, it was a good, it was a good novel. It was it well, was it was well written. Um, and I liked the. I liked the history aspect. <laughs> yes, I, I thought you liked that. Yes, the history uh, with the cool owls and like the architecture of Gotham, how it works in. Yep. I like yep. that. And how, they were going, and how they were going after a professor and a grad student. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, snap, this could be my life. <laughs> I hope not, because I mean, I don't know. I hope not, too, because I really don't want to get kidnapped or Because it know, basically happened murdered, in the first chapter or two, but yeah, it doesn't work out well for the professor. <laughs> I was like, oh man, what I do is important. <laughs> See? So yeah, I would certainly um I would certainly recommend uh that people read it. But that being said, you do need to know that it is not a novelization of the Court of Owls, because often that's what DC has put out. Is yeah, often yeah, yeah. Put out novelizations of graphic novels or movies. Uh, and this one is, even though it has, even though its name is just the Court of Owls, you might think it would be a novelization of something they've already done, but it is not. So it is helpful to have some familiarity with uh, yeah. the Court of Owls. That's why I was surprised they, they, that's what the title was, because I was like, I, I believe there's original comics, it was the Court of Owls, or I think it was the Court of Owls, but yeah, that's why it made me think that, and I think there yeah, were I think two other no Batman name. novels out recently that I think well, might be well, novelizations, so. Yeah, yeah, and of course, when they said that Dick was in it, that, and Barbara, I mean, they were in the, um, yeah. they were in, yeah, the graphic novel stuff, so I was like, oh, you know, that also led you to led you to believe. I mean, maybe they would have had to mention, you know, how Jason and Tim and Damien were also in that, but them saying he was using Barbara, you know, tech support and Dick, because since, you know, Dick had the whole like Kalantus and that kind of thing, it made sense that that he would be one that you would more mention. <laughs> but yeah, I mean it, I, okay. the story yeah, the story was well written, and it ha it was very balanced. It, it has the balance I like, where they show Batman's detective skills as much as his like fighting skills, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah, you I, you got a really, really nice balance, Batman here, and uh, yeah, the flat I did like the flashbacks. You know, sometimes you, that can seem like too much, but I think there was a little nice balance here of you know the present stuff and the flashbacks, and they worked well with like you know, yeah, yeah, giving you a better. S sense of the of the owls and kind of mm -hmm. what they're tr what they're trying to do and the artist that oh my god whose name just escaped me uh that was a, he was a very interesting character is it percy uh yeah i think it yeah percy the guy who's doing the art and also the science experiments yeah uh, he was a very he was a very interesting character because he is not I mean, mostly, I feel like they're pushing as the kind of, he's pretty good guy um, angle, but he's not that good. 
Well, yeah, I mean, we won't mention it, but yeah, I know you said the the ending bothered you a little bit. Yeah, with what, what he has been set in set in uh, effect, but yeah, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, but yeah, but I thought with uh, Percy is an interesting um thing to show how. I mean, not that you really need to make. I mean, it's Batman, so you don't really need to make the Court of Owls um realistic and uh the uh real world kind of thing. But I did think that uh, having a character like that helps show how something like the Court of Owls can continue on, uh, even if you know, even if stuff, not every, even if not everybody who's in it or you know tangentially connected mm-hmm. is uh. It is like not everyone is pure evil um, in it, but it's still generally how people kind of get swept up in this you know, mm. institution and kind of how it's self perpetuating. Or I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of that was like what Scott Snyder like is you know create you know set the foundation of you know how they can like their talents can survive for hundreds of years and just like the. Sure. Now, I, yeah, a lot of that was Greg Cox had to like play in the rules that were already set down. But I was surprised right. there was some, there were some characters. I don't, I, I shouldn't, you know, I'm trying not to spoil too much. There were some characters in the flashbacks who I thought maybe were were going to show up later on in the present that they didn't. And then you know, there's one or two that did, which surprised. You know, oh. I think he, I think uh, Greg Cox did a good job of mixing that where it's like, okay, if any of these characters going to be, or you know, go from the flashbacks of the present who's it gonna be and all this and then like both talons like the talent in the in the flashbacks and then the talons in talent in the present like i thought he was building up where the oh no it was gonna be like some big reveal where they took off their mask and it was gonna be you know yeah. some like maybe the present one was gonna be someone from the flashback but no it was just like oh hey look it's frank the talent you know frank the talent right, and, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> and i'm just yeah. like okay i thought it was gonna be somebody we knew but it was just like okay he's just the talent yeah. you know which, yeah, I suppose, like, that's good, and, you know, sure, it could have been kind of interesting, but also, it could have been kind of ridiculous if it was, you know, oh, and it turns out the modern talent is actually this guy. Like, yeah, no, I mean, that's fine, <laughs> it makes sense, but just the way, of, maybe it was just me, but maybe I thought the writing was, like, building up to, like, oh, yeah, this is, look, it's a song we, we already discussed, or, you know. Yeah, but maybe that's one of those red herrings that they throw in in mystery stories to keep you maybe. guessing. I thought maybe it was going to be so like, one of, thought it was be like the victim's father or something, and you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, God. And then not. Yeah. Yeah. Did let's see who Bruce Wayne's ancestor and Alan yes. Wayne, right? Did they, did he appear a lot in the Court of Owls? Did they talk a lot about him in the graphic novel? I couldn't remember. I'm trying to remember. I mean, I don't... They might have mentioned him like once or twice. I think it was more just a. He was more just a plot device. It's like, oh, look, you know, the owls have been messing with the Waynes for how, you know, however long. And right, okay, yeah, because I didn't totally. I was like, did was he have that time yeah. in the maze or whatever? I think they. Oh yeah, and then in the maze was like that was like the first arc in the new Fifty Two for Batman. You know, with they set up the owls and then the maze and then like a couple issues mm-hmm. later is the night of the owls when they went after all those prominent gotham citizens and they even like launched an attack on wayne yeah. in the back cave and i think the whole alan wayne too thing too is like the owls have been watching the wings for generations that's how they know bat bruce wayne is batman and yeah i feel like they should write a novel that explains why the wings are not part of the court of owls though because it's like almost everyone else who's rich in Gotham is. So why? Well, one, I, I, I think fans would freak out if you're like, oh yeah, Thomas and Martha Wayne were part of this evil organization. Well, right, no, I know that it would be yeah. very bad. We wouldn't want any of the Waynes to be in it, but it's like, why? Well, it's not like it's not like everybody either, because I don't think the Cobblepots were in there, or like Tommy Elliot and his family, I don't think were in there, so... I think yeah, it's wait, based- the Elliots are in, right? Or they're what? not? What? Wait, the Elliots and the Cobblepots are in, or they're not? They aren't. I don't think. No, I think oh, it's. They ju- aren't. Oh. Yeah, no, I think okay. it's. I think it's basic. Well, okay. It's basically just all the rich people you've never heard of before are <laughs> are in it. Oh, okay. It's like the rich people you've never heard of. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then that makes sense. It's like second tier rich people. Got it. Yeah, any anyone you haven't heard, you know, that you haven't known from Batman comics for years, you know, it's basically just the bat, you know. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I guess that didn't go. Okay, so it's like the point one percent. They don't need. Okay, that makes sense. Then if you're rich, there's like you're so rich you don't need to be in the court of owls, and then there's you're so rich but not rich enough that you can't be in the court of owls. Got Maybe it. it's just yeah. I I think the only even reason the, the the members of the court of owls are rich are just because it's like oh that's how they man, they've been man, 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 yeah, manipulating things for years and they've been around for hundreds of years. So of course you would have. You know, and if you're evil and you've been around for centuries, of course you're going to accumulate vast wealth. Definitely. But yeah, I'm trying to remember. All right, that's fair enough then. I think back when they started New 52, I think I read an uh, interview with Scott Snyder. I think it, it's the court of uh, it's owls because, you know, owls are natural predators of bats. and Right, yeah. Scary. <laughs> yeah. I mean, their masks are kind of scary. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, not like scary, face, but, like, yeah. They're definitely creepy. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, they did a good job with that. <laughs> and uh, I guess the whole like owls fly silently and stuff. You know, yeah, it makes sense. Oh, I like it's like when did this, did this come out this year or last year? I like how it's like almost an even hundred years because the flashbacks are nineteen eighteen. <laughs> nice round hundred years. Yep. Yep. It's perfect. It's perfect. And but how yeah. uh, Gotham has a world exposition. That's like very, very perfect. Always shady stuff happening at world ex at world exhibitions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They they they've used that like the Gotham's Fair like so many times. Like even like in yeah, but I feel like it's not just a comic book thing. I mean, I think other books do stuff like other mysteries do stuff like that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I don't know what it is. It's just like I don't know people getting together. You know. The groups of people getting together, or right, yeah, oh yeah, because in Gotham by Gaslight in the movie, stuff happens at the Gotham World Fair, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. and it's like, and it's like yeah. more, and it's like more modern, but like even in Batman: Mask of the Phantasm, there's like a like a Gotham oh, World yes, Fair yeah, almost, yeah, 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 yeah. The House of the Future, where the Joker lives. Welcome to the House of the Future. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, or like, or like Joker's getting yeah, first like a robot or something. Well, I mean, hey, Batman and Robin in 1940 went to the World's Fair. They even had a whole special comic book where they went there. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. And even, like, uh, yeah. Iron Man 2, like, Tony Stark's dad had, like, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, <laughs> there was a World's Fair then, too? It was, like, a star. It was, like, the Stark Expo, but, like, I guess his Tony Stark's dad started it, I don't know, many decades oh, yeah. ago, so. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. But, yeah. yeah that, that, that does seem to be a big a pl uh, plot device in... Oh yeah, totally but it, recently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But no, I like this book. I mean, this is probably probably getting an A for me. Could use more Nightwing, but besides that, I enjoyed it immensely. Well, sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> I said the book could use more Nightwing, but I mean, it's like I give it an A. I I enjoyed it immensely. Yes, yeah, yes. That's that's really my take, only complaint. That's really my only complaint. If, if we take our great love of Nightwing out and evaluate the book simply on its merits, yes, it's a very good. It's a very good book. Yes. If we evaluate it on inclusion of enough Nightwing, D. <laughs> I know, but but it, we it, are of course, not not fair judges on that at all. And a plus, it's a Batman story. And you. I mean, you know, I mean, they've done this for years. It's like, they always down, well, a lot of times they downplay Nightwing, you know, to make Batman look better. Right, I mean, they downplay everybody. I mean, if I were going to evaluate this as an inclusion of Batgirl story, I would maybe, like, C. I mean, yeah, yeah. Isn't it more than Nightwing, but he doesn't do much that special. No. Like I mean, she looks stuff up. I mean, she finds a couple of things that Batman didn't, but that's because Batman's, like, out punching people and keeping people from getting killed by talents, and she's, like, at home reading the internet. And so it's, you know, yeah, like, she, yeah, it's kind of one of those... Right, they've got it set up that it's, you know, like, oh, yeah, clearly, if Batman had the time, he would have found that out himself. <laughs> yeah, she really doesn't even suit up until, like, to that that last fight at the end, so... Yeah, near the end, yeah. So, yes. It's a good book. It's a Batman book, of course. Yeah, which, and it, you know, and they probably, and they probably, it was probably a time saver too because a lot of the book were, were those flashbacks. So, right, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a for me. Yeah, it'll be good. He should write. He should write some more. I'm trying to remember. The name sounds familiar. I don't know if it's Batman books, but oh, well, in the back. Um, yeah, I list some of the other stuff he's written. Uh, official movie novel 
Uh, he did uh, movie novelizations for The Dark Knight Rises, Man of Steel, Godzilla, War okay. for the Planet of the Apes, Ghost Rider, Daredevil, and the first three Underworld movies. He has also written books and stories based on such popular series as Alias, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, CSI, uh, Farscape, The 4400, The Green Hornet, The Librarians, Roswell, Star Trek, Warehouse 13, Xena Warrior Princess, and Zorro. So yeah, he's written see? a few other things. He's got it, yeah, he's got it. I would like to see these kinds of things sell well, because I would like to see DC do more. Mm -hmm. Um, of the novelizations and expand it to more characters because, of course, you start with Batman, but I mean, they've already done Catwoman novel novelizations, but you know, they push Catwoman a lot. They like, they do so many different things with her, with her character. I would like to see them do more of these novelizations, move into doing novels about Batwing, either Batwing, Nightwing. I mean, you can do Batwing ones too, although I think he doesn't exist anymore. Um, I think that Oracle could be a really great character that they could write really good. She is a she would be a really good character um, to write novels about. Well, yeah, I think it's yeah, and uh, Barbara, Nightwing, a bunch of the bunch. Give us a Red Robin book. I mean, sure. they're really not doing too much with him right now, except for being in that Young Justice book. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah, I mean, Jason's got his outlaws, mm -hmm. Dick has Nightwing, Damien's, Damien's in Teen Titans and Super Sons, yeah. and occasionally in, and occasionally in the Batman detective stuff, is that, how often is he in there? Uh, Damien, every once in a while he might mm, make a quick appearance in, like, a Batman or a detective, but yeah, he's re okay. really basically just in the Teen Titans right now. Oh, in Adventures of the okay. Super Sons. And is Tim not, is Tim not really in tech anymore? No, I mean, like I said, he left town and now he's just basically in that Young Justice book. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, but did, did you probably... So didn't... both, both the main Batman titles are kind of solo titles right now. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but oh, um, the le this last story, the last story arc in Detective before one thousand, Damien was kind of in and out of it. So I mean, because Tim came back in the Detectives, yeah, well, he then, went, he was lost in the Detectives, and then he came back in Detective. He came back, and then it's and weird he changed his outfit. Yeah, because he was wearing his old suit, but then him in like uh, spoiler right off into the sunset, and then he just like basically shows up in the Young Justice. So I don't know if they're gonna explain, you know. Yeah. We're, we're spoiler. Yeah. I re right. I really wish that I think that they should Tim's very first Red Robin suit was his best one. <laughs> yeah, that any of those suits he wore before New 52, either there I think there was two of them. Yeah, I like either one of those. Oh. Yeah. The, I mean, I know some people kind of made fun of how we kind of had the cowl without ears so it looked I liked it better. Weird, but I thought that was pretty good and the chat and the little symbol, I don't know, but the it kind of sets a, it kind of sets them apart from the other Robins, though. Too, everybody has sure. like their own look. Then, yeah, you want because I think is the Red Robin thing that they kind of put them in. It's too Robin like, yeah. And it, mm -hmm. I don't know. And I mean, I was the wings kind of grew on me. I wasn't a huge wing person, mm -hmm. but but yeah, that for. But, well, what now is? he's in, he's like basically in his, in a version of his old suiting. Basically, it looks too much like Damien almost. Yeah, and are they calling him Red Robin or just Robin in Young Justice? I thought he was just Robin. <sighs> but. It's kind of hard because Ben this drag kind of tends to drag stuff out. Um, I can't remember if they've been calling him Red Robin or Robin, but I don't know. Ben this kind of does what he wants. Okay, right. Oh. And those feel like. Yeah, I was gonna say, Dev, you've been re you probably haven't been re uh, reading any of the Red Hood stuff lately, have you? Which one? Red Hood. No. Oh well, he well, Batman basically forced him out of town because like Jason, like I don't know, he found out Penguin had something to do with his dad's death or something. So like basically, Jason just like shot Penguin in the face. But Penguin yeah, survived. That's what happened in, that's what happened in yeah. twenty-five, right? Yeah, yeah, and then but then and, then, the and didn't Bruce like slap him around? Well, like, he told him to get out of town, but then, and Jason was on the road, but then in the latest issue, he's back. He's taking over the Iceberg Casino. Uh, Jason's running the Iceberg Casino right now. 
Sorry, say that again. It Jason's, Jason's running, running what? The Iceberg Casino. Oh, really? Whoa. Yeah, yeah. He basically that's salt into the wound. <laughs> yeah, he has Penguin locked up, and he's basically yeah, he, he's now a casino owner. And like even Bruce, Bruce shows up and says, you know, I told you to get out of town. And Jason says, okay. He goes, take me in. He goes, but you're gonna have to explain why Batman's bringing in Bruce, one of Bruce Wayne's kids, uh, for shooting the Penguin when it was Red Hood who shot the Penguin. He's like. He's like, oh, don't worry. It's not like I know too many of your secrets. Yeah. And Bruce just kind of let him go. Yeah, wow, that's wild. Yeah, well, Jason was like, oh, go ahead. It's not like I know all of your secrets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jason, he knows He knows how to work it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm surprised it's taken this long cool. to play that card. Yeah, yeah. But he's going to play that card forever. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> forever. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I feel like I, when the new 52 first happened, I was annoyed and I felt Dick was kind of ill served, but he has definitely gotten back on his feet and they have done much better with him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I would say Tim has gotten, has been the most ill served. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Like, and it's weird because he was so popular and he had the Robin book. I don't, I don't know if they I don't were trying, know what I don't know if they were trying to build yet. up I don't know if they were trying to build up Jason and Damien or what, but yeah. I guess, but I mean, you can do all of them, right? I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I even I said. I, I don't I don't know why they don't do like a... I they should do a red red Robin something, you know. Mini series and on another ongoing, please. Yeah, it's just it's just surprising that um, I don't know. It feels surprising they've dropped the ball so much. Mm-hmm. Well, DC's been having trouble for I don't know what they're doing over there. No, true. All right, I was gonna say true. I was gonna say we should get out of here, but next next episode, or so we'll do the next issue. Should we go back to our animated series? Uh, yes, yeah, since we don't have any novels, um, I. Th- think so let we could talk i know you're gonna do a special on the 1000 but let's talk 1000 yeah i was gonna say 1, yeah i was gonna say by then we can we've we'll have read it digested it yeah i mean yeah we can talk yeah. about the 1000 especially if there's any nightwing or you know dick grayson stories in there or, or, I mean, yeah so we can do uh nightwing a thousand no uh, detective a thousand detective. nightwing 59 and if you're so smart, why aren't you rich? <laughs> yes, well, we're, we're, we're going to cover this time. Yes, yes, that sounds yeah, good. Which is an age-old question. <laughs> That's right. All right, so let's get out of here. I Again, I would ask you if you're going to promote, promote anything, but of course you never do, so go buy... Uh, That's true. Go buy the Dick Grayson book on Amazon, people. The link will be in the show notes, as always. <laughs> and send your thoughts on... Uh, you know, Nightwing 58 or the Court of Owls novel or, you know, if you read Nightwing 59, send us your thoughts before we get to it and then we'll read them on the next episode. Capes and Lunatics at gmail.com. Nightwing News is on Facebook, on Twitter, and uh, I've got a voicemail, 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. All right. But yeah, you're welcome. I mean, we're going to be doing the Detective uh, Comics special the night it comes out. Well, that Wednesday night when it comes out. So if you want to join us, you're welcome to. Yeah, you sent me a link, but I'm not sure if I'll have bought it by that time. Yeah, yeah. I'll let, I'll let you know that day. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can't wait to see that because, I mean, the, the Action Comics 1000 was pretty good. And, but I'm thinking, I don't know. Maybe it's because I like Batman better, but I think Detective will even better. Yeah, probably. And we'll probably cover the hard the hardcover special that came out too. Okay. Cool. Did you see did you see that? I mean there's a bunch of reprints in there, including including the first appearance of Dick Grayson. I did I did see that. I haven't I haven't bought it. I wasn't Yeah. It's a little more It's not exactly the Yeah, is it it's not exactly the same as the one that's coming out. No. No? Okay. No. So Check all that out. Yeah, all that out, everyone. Join us next time.